Hey everyone, uh, this is Maniac, aka the Tinker Dad, and this is a live vlog entry. Uh, so unscripted, unrepeatable, and so on. What you see here is a huge pile of packages straight from China, uh, containing various pieces of electronics. So within this video, I will just open them one by one to see uh, what did I actually get. Hopefully, I get what I ordered. <laughs> so let's get to it. Uh, let me just move this away from uh, here and let's get to opening the first bag. So I have a list in front of me to see what I have ordered and let's see. This is like Christmas or something. I totally don't know what is uh, what in which package. I've uh, had a lot of uh, different pieces of electronics in the last few weeks for various projects and for reviews. So first one is... Okay, we all know what are these, I guess. These are a bunch of Sonos. So all of them are sort of basics, actually five of them. So, yay, I have these. Uh, to be honest, I love these guys. I just um, flashed them with the Tasmata firmware and they are good to go. Um, I plan to use them for controlling lights around the house and so on. Okay, one package down, uh, five to go. So next one. Okay, nothing else inside. This is a tiny one. And I think I know what are these. Yes. Okay, let me open one of these. So these are 5 volt power supplies. Uh, they can um, uh, give you uh, 5 volt uh, DC from 230 volt uh, AC. So I will use these for projects where I cannot uh, use something like a micro USB power supply. Another small package. And so let's see. One, two, three again. Uh, no, actually, five of these guys. So, uh, these are uh, movement sensors. Again, first time using these. Uh, the reviews about these little guys are pretty good, so I'm pretty hopeful to see what they can do. Okay, this is a bigger one. As you can see, everything is well packaged, by the way. Uh, once again, kudos to Banggood. Uh, when the first time I ordered stuff from them, uh, it was pretty poorly packaged. But uh, since I uh, provided them feedback, so it, this is just probably just a coincidence, but since I've uh, provided them feedback, um, their packaging improved a lot. Okay, I can't even remember what... Ah, I know what is this. So yeah, this is a breadboard, uh, just uh, for experimenting with various stuff. Just let me open this up quickly. Oops, sorry. This box wasn't really the 
Master DS one. So this is just a nice standard breadbox uh, breadboard. Sorry. What else? Okay, I will have to look this up again, but uh, I suspect this to be a package of uh, various uh, resistors. No, so I have ordered an assortment of uh, about 100 pieces of um, diodes, and these must be those. Interestingly enough, these little guys appear to be no die. These are diodes as well. Okay, for the first glimpse, uh, these appear to be resistors of some kind. Okay, this will be fun. Uh, I see no numbers on them. So I will have to figure out, okay, there are numbering or at least some code, uh, type of code on the larger ones, but nothing on the smaller ones. And this will be fun to play with and to try out. Okay, we have a lot of stuff here, tightly packed. So, what's going on here? First, this one is a DHT22 uh, temperature and humidity sensors. Sensor, sorry. Uh, so I uh, used the DHT11 in the past and while it works good enough for uh, what I needed uh, I can say it's fast and accurate and this one is just so I ordered these for a review for comparison uh, because um, these are something like an improved version of the DHT11 but uh, they cost like uh, three times more so, um, but still cheap enough, like three euros or something like that. Anyway, I want to f want to compare the two, to experiment with it to see whether it is any good, whether it uh, really worth that um, extra price. Okay, these little guys. This is just. A connector for micro USB. So let's say um, I ordered these with no special purpose for now, but um, since I'm planning to do real PCBs for future packages, uh, I thought that it must it it could be handy having these. So whenever I can use just. Um, 5 volts uh, coming from a USB power supply uh, directly I can use these little guys to uh, provide that um, USB uh, micro USB connector uh, for my project board so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of these next up is okay these are relays just let me quickly open one okay so uh, small relays board uh, relay boards uh, these are one channel single channel relays um, I will be able to uh, control um, mains current 
like garden lights or or the irrigation system I'm planning to do in the garden and so on okay so five of these guys again is I think these are the light sensors I've ordered so I will just open one quickly Let's see yep these are the light sensors so namely they are BH1750 uh, F digital light uh, intensity sensor module I will be using these uh, in conjunction with the movement sensor to provide um, automatic lights within the garden. So whenever uh, the sun goes down, the movement sensors will uh, turn on lights when they detect human movement uh, outside the building. Still have one little back here and if I'm not mistaken then these are transistors uh, actually a lot of them uh, with uh, different values okay no markings again these will be really fun no actually there are markings but oh man 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 uh, they will require me to use a magnifier of some kind or, or a microscope or something no i'm just kidding a magnifier will do but uh, i can't even see a single letter the text is just way too small okay So anyway, um, this this was a deal package uh, for having, if I'm not mistaken, just let me check my list first. Okay, so this is uh, 180 pieces of uh, triode transistor um, with uh, 10 of each with uh, 80 different values. So. It will be a nice work to categorize these and and um, sort them out. I left this or the last one intentionally. Okay, first, uh, this is just an assortment of cables. Uh, these are male to female. Ah, they were cheap and um, they are needed um, basically on an everyday basis uh, for projects, especially if you are doing stuff uh, with a breadboard or with a prototype PCB. Okay, some kind of sticker. More cables, these are female to female. And these are male to male. This, nothing else in the back. So this large one is can see here what is it uh, basically this is a silicon uh, heat resistant um, whatever should I call it since I just uh, started uh, going into soldering stuff 
Uh, I thought uh, this, will, this will be pretty useful. You just let me remove it from the bag, this plastic bag. Come on. Pretty heavy, by the way. Uh, so it's it uh, sticks to your desk and and has these little I don't know what I would call these these spaces where you can put uh, electronic smaller electronic parts or bolts or whatever you need, um, <clears throat> and they will just don't wander around uh, on your desk. I already love this. I mean, it really sticks to uh, the desk. Looks heavy, sturdy. Okay, this will be fun to use. And one last thing from this last package. Okay. And I need to be a bit more careful. No, no. These are nicely packaged. So I already couple of already um, ordered a couple of these. These are no MCUs. Uh, produced by a company called Ge Geekrate. Uh, I hope I pronounce it well so these are based on ESP8266 uh, uh, this little programmable controller um, I use a couple of these already around the house uh, for temperature uh, sensors these are like really really small Arduinos you can see the scale um, and you can program this for pretty much everything um, that you can do with a micro microcontroller of this size you can use sensors you can control stuff with these uh, I plan to use these uh, in conjunction with those relays uh, so with these and With these uh, power supplies to have a control circuit for um, uh, the irrigation system outside the house okay that's it um, basically I've opened up everything and it's a lot of parts to play around with I will now I think I will need some kind of uh, container assortment of kind of some kind to have all these sorted uh, into boxes or something like that because to be honest um, I'm a software developer and until this very point my study room consisted of a nice clean up cleaned up PC with a desk with a cozy chair and so on and now suddenly it started to fill up with soldering irons electronic parts a lot of wires tools pliers uh, cutters whatever you can think of and instead of a study it started to look like something like a workshop <laughs> so it's a mess right now um, I will have to definitely find a way uh, to have everything I order and uh, everything I collect um, to sort these out to, to have them at hand when I need them uh, when I start working uh, on more projects in the future but anyway 
uh, I don't want to waste more time uh, the purpose of this video uh, was to open these bags to show this stuff I've already took a lot and lot of time so thank you for your attention and yeah have a nice day